Hi everybody. Welcome to a hybrid mail call slash extra bit slash I'm going to do some stuff video. I recently ordered from a company Retro Electronique or Electronic out of France some parts that I wanted and it took less than two weeks to get here. I ordered on eBay. I'll put a link to their website on the description and if I can find these on eBay I'll put a link to them too. But what I ordered was these. You may or may not know what they are, but what they are is ColecoVision cartridge PCBs. So I can make my own ColecoVision ones. I've been using the same one over and over again, pulling a chip out, putting another one in, but I wanted to have backups. So I ordered these. I ordered 10 of them. It cost me less than 30 bucks. I think I like $2.90 a piece or less plus shipping. Shipping was really cheap. So I ordered 10 of them, got them real quick. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to take, put these away. I'm going to, first off, since I use the 27256 chip, I need to solder those two points together. Then I'm going to take a socket. So this is the EEPROM. I'm going to put a socket in. And I won't put the EEPROM in because then it's stuck in the front. I'm going to put the EEPROM in, or the socket in, and solder that in place. Very exciting, isn't it? Okay, so now what I've done is I went and got a piece of metal. I have a little bag. I just keep all the legs I cut off of resistors and stuff like that. And I use them to solder things back together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, one, I'm blobby blocking this. I'm, I apologize for that. I'm going to solder this on here. If I could just hold it still. Don't want to burn my fingers. It is getting very hot and it stuck to my skin. Alright, try that again. I'm going to, as I said, do this. Why is this going to be so difficult? Why are things difficult for me? Hmm? What do I do wrong? It's going to turn into a 45 minute long video of me trying to solder something on there, something else. Look at that. Let's try something different here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I got a piece of metal. It's a leg from a resistor. I keep them in the bag. I'm going to just take a piece of tape here. I'm going to tape this so that it crosses over where I want to solder. Just like so. Take my solder. And I'm just going to secure that there. that's secure and then I'm just going to take hold that with my finger so I don't lift it up off there I'm going to take this little tweezers here and pull that middle back up get it up there take my cuticle cutters and cut it loose there we go all right, that works. It's not the best. This is for my own personal use, so I'm not too concerned about it, but I will figure out a better way of doing that later. So there we go. We have that. Now we're going to take this, and we're going to put this in a little dot right there. They use as an indication to show you where the slot is. Just make sure I'm in the line here. 
So I want to make sure that little dot goes towards that end there. Make sure all the legs are in like they are. I know it's kind of hard to see sometimes. And then I'm going to take my piece of tape I just had here. And I'm just going to take and I'm going to pick the piece of tape and I'm just going to hold it in place like that so it doesn't come out. Give me some flux. Take glasses back off again. And I'm going to come down here. Hey, I got mail. And no, I don't use AOL in case anybody's asking. What I just did is I did those two corners. I just want to make sure that they were so that connected and then I'll come back out here and make sure everything is nice and level. Now I'll just go through and do them all. Tap off the excess solder. Come back in here, reload. For reasons I can't understand, sometimes the solder just doesn't stick to anything. I don't know if my soldering iron is just not getting hot enough, or if it's just the solder. Like I've said in many other videos, maybe I should just get new solder. But it's working. I'm getting there. I don't know if you can hear, but it's raining today. Yeah, this solder is just giving me issues. I'm going to try something here. I wonder if there's something on here that's causing it not to stick. What I'm going to do is this. Clean it. with isopropyl alcohol leak. Then I'm going to take some flux and I'm just going to get some flux in here. I don't care. I'll clean it up later. And when I go out to the store today, I'm going to get some better solder. I'm tired of fighting that solder. Where's my rag? Now, let's try this again. Yeah, I do believe this solder is either too thick or not the right type of solder for what I'm doing or I'm doing something wrong It's fascinating to watch the solder Probably not for you at home, but it is for me to watch how the solder just sits there and sits there and all of a sudden it just sucks down in, it wicks in I guess you call it. And I am pretty sure, like I said, I am sure somebody's watching this and they're like, you're doing it so wrong, Millie. It's unbelievably wrong what you're doing. And you know what? You're probably right. But. Okay, now we're getting to the point where solder's not going anywhere again. Why are we doing this? Yeah, it has to be this solder. It just has to be. I did not have this problem before with the thinner solder I had. This solder just must be bad, period. I mean, it works, but it's so hard to work with. I believe I got them open. That one right there I didn't even touch. When I get done, I'll give you a good view just so you can see what I did. I just want to make sure I got them all. It looks like I got every one of them now. I don't see anywhere I can see through the hole. Alright, so let me clean it up here. Again, isopropyl alcohol. An old toothbrush. 
Let's get in there and scrub it out really good. Some more. Really scrub it out nicely. Take that off that side there. And it looks like I got every one of them nice. Uh, I got some gunk on here. Yeah, the brush with a toothbrush are getting old. I'm gonna have to give me another toothbrush. But yeah, it looks like I got them all there. As you can see, or maybe you can't see, I did get them all there. But like I said, I do believe. Eh, I don't like that right there. Get out of there, flux. I do believe I gotta get better solder. But everything went on correctly. All in. And there we go. So what I've just done is I've made myself a cartridge. Now I can use my EEPROMs and I can do some more testing. Quick and dirty. Extra bits slash mail call. Have a great day.